new product alert. Stick around to learn more. Hey guys, Stephanie with Steffi Jewels, and check this out. I'm testing a new product, but first, a few disclaimers. Number one, this is not a sponsored video. I just saw this um, resin on one of the Facebook ads that popped up when I mentioned, hey, I want to try a new resin, and this name popped up several times on my Facebook ad, so this is not a sponsored video. Number two, this is not a paid promotion video. As I said, I found them through Facebook ads that popped through and decided, hmm, let me try it out. I read some of the reviews, kind of promising. Let's try it. And number three, I am part of the Amazon Associate Program. So any products that are mentioned or shown in this video will have a link to them in the description, oops, description down below. And I will earn a small commission when using any of these links. So thank you in advance. Now, let's get to the good stuff. Okay, so as I said, this is a brand new product that I just found through Facebook ad. I'm used to use, well, not used to, I currently use art resin right now for all my projects and that works just wonders. But I thought, okay, it's nice to have a part two or a plan B, should I say, of different resins. So I'm gonna try this epoxy resin and let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole box. So with this epoxy resin, the specs are it's supposed to be one to one ratio, and I'll turn to the side here because it has all this stuff here. It's supposed to be one to one ratio for easy mixing. It's supposed to have a glossy, whoops, where am I at? Glossy, okay, a glossy glass like finish, scratch resistant and water re resistant. Now water resistant means that after it's cured, that if water gets on the piece, it should just roll off like glass. You do not want to mix resin with water because it, it messes up chemical reaction wise. And it says it ages well, no yellowing, meaning once your pieces are cured, if it's in the sun for a long period of time, your product should not turn yellow. Now, does it mean that the actual hardener will turn yellow? I don't know. We'll find out. Now, the uses for this resin. What else? Actually, it's a pretty box. It's got the little colors, teal and purple and white, so it's very pretty. But this resin claims that you can use for big or small projects, which includes coasters, ashtrays, tumblers, as well as making jewelry. You can also use it for DIY woodworking or flooring projects. Now, let's go ahead and open this up so we can see what's in this box. So like I said, I have never used this resin before. I'm not sponsored with this company or being paid by it, so this will be the first time, honest opinion, of what this is. So, this came, like I said, from Amazon, and I'll leave a link down below before I got it, where the link is. came very nicely wrapped, so let's go ahead and start opening this up. So, first, right now, this is what it looks like inside. It's very nicely neat and packed. So, I'm going to start taking these things out. That's the resin, and that's the hardener. So right now, this is one quart, which is pretty big size gallon. So most resin you should come in bottles about that big, or maybe this big. In fact, let me compare it to give me a second my art resin bottle. So this is what I usually get, and this is actually 16 ounces. So you can see I get a little more resin right now than I do with my art resin, but this is just a 16 ounces one. And of course, I have a bigger one that I use. This is actually the, you know, 0.5 quart. So this is actually one quart. This is half of that quart. So not too bad for how much resin you get for this. And like I said, I use art resin all the time. So I still love art resin, but it doesn't hurt to have a plan B. So you have your resin, oh, your resin here, and your hardener. Put that aside right there. So you can see it. And then it comes with mixing cups and gloves. So I've got two pairs of gloves. So nice gloves here. We got four mixing cups here. So four mixing cups. It has the cups here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to make sure you can see that here. It has the cup and the ounces here on, on one side for measurement. And over here is the milliliters. So it looks like it goes from 50 to 230. 
but you can see that. 52, 230, and I have four of these cups. And like I said, they're like plastic cups. So I have four of these. Let me scroll out. Oh, let me scroll out a little bit more. So far, you got your gloves here. Put the gloves over there. It has manual on how you use it. So, my best friend will be reading back because I never used it before. It also has stirrers. So, I have three stirrers in here, wooden sticks, so, which is not too bad. I like to use um, actually silicone sticks because it's easier to clean, but these will come in handy too if I just want to mix real quick. So, and last but not least, it comes with mica powder, and it's at 25. So, let me just open this up real quick so you can kind of look and see. What kind of colors they have here? So the colors they have here is, like I said, it's pretty big packets here. So it comes in this size packet. Oops, sorry, Let's get that out the way. It comes in this size packet. Let me see that real quick. I think the light is getting in my room here. So yeah, it comes in that size packet. There you go, right here, and it says five grams. So these are all the colors. I'm not going to go through all the colors, but just kind of scan them as you can see what we got here. So we got green. Let me bring my camera down so you can see a little bit better. Do, 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 do. There we go. So we have all these colors that come with it. So a lot of bright colors. And actually, I actually have some mica powders that have most of these colors already. But you can never have too much mica powder. But yeah, you get a lot for this little kit right here. Now, this actual kit that I got cost about $49.98 through Amazon. Um, one thing about me is I like to get more for my money. So anytime I can get a kit that includes the resin and cups and something to mix with, I always go for it. Now, I will leave links down below for this resin. Because I'm sure you can get this with just the resin in a smaller portion of it. But I just really wanted to get a kit since it came with powder and all this stuff here. I'm like, why not? I'll go ahead and use that kit. So, now let's see what we can make with it. Today, I will be trying to make something using jewelry, my jewelry mold, as well as a deep pour mold of all the gla glazes. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean this stuff up and prep my workstation so we can start making some projects using this Roxy Epoxy. So, stay right there where you are, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and looked at the directions and followed it just the way it says. So for this particular resin, it says you need to mix between five to seven minutes, and it should be at a temperature between 72 degrees and 85. So the first thing I noticed right now is there is no smell. Now, at least to me, now, air of caution, if you're very sensitive to smell, then I will wear a mask. But this is one reason why I picked this resin right here, because it says it has none of the smells that you get from most resin. And right now, I'm in the spare bedroom. It's a very light feeling. I don't need to smell it, just like my art resin. So right now, that's a thumbs up for me because anything that has less smell is in my book. Number two, it is very easy to make. As you can see, it's very clear here. There is a little bit of bubbles in here, like marker bubbles. That's because it's probably cold. Most of the time when I do my resin, I do work the bottles. But with these bottles right here, it's kind of hard to warm this up. So I will have to go get me some actual squeeze bottles to separate those two so that way it's easier to, to pour as well as to warm up. So but other than that, so far the mix looks good. So now I'm gonna work on this jury mode and I'm gonna try to see if I have enough to do this actual deep pour. Um, I mixed about 110 of the resin here to on one is a one to one ratio. So I did one ratio of part A and another ratio of part B. So basically I went up two lines, two lines up here for one part and two lines for two parts. So basically, as long as I have one to one. So I use their micro powders. I have blue and purple, orange and black. So I'm gonna pour some of this into here so I can try to make some earrings with it. And if I can't make the deep pour, I'll do another video for that right now. But let me go ahead and pour some in here. So we'll pour a little bit there. Pour a little bit there. Pour a little bit there. And pour a little bit in there. And as you can see, these mats that I'm working on are actually silicone mats. 
So if anything falls on it resin wise, it will stick to it. If you're not familiar how epoxy resin works, then I'll leave a video of how to use epoxy resin on the card up here above, or at least a description link down below. But if you're familiar with epoxy, then you know exactly what I'm going to do here. So now I'm going to actually take their wooden stairs, and I'm going to actually go ahead and stare these colors in. Now I just put just you know maybe about a little bit of powder, about that much from each each of it, and stick it in. You just make sure I have enough in here. You really don't need much powder when you use any mica powder or any type of powder for resin. But I wanted to put, I put quite a few in because I wanted to see how it looks. And look how pretty that purple is. So that, that is a pretty purple. So I'm just going to mix it up right here. And yeah, look at that. That is very pretty. So right now I do like their mica pads right now. So that was next right there. Um, it did not tell me how long of a working time I do have with this resin. So I am keeping an eye out on my clock right now to see what it is. Because I don't want it to start hardening with me. Um, if I find out what, what the working time is, I will put that when I edit this video up here on the screen what the working time is. But most resin, you got maybe about 10 to 15 minutes, if not more. Like art resin, I have 45 minutes working time. So I know for a fact how much that is, but I'm not sure what this one is. So yeah, that's that blue. Blue is pretty. So, so far, I like their mica powders. I mean, anything with mica powder is pretty pretty anyway, so... I'll go ahead and mix these real quick and speed it up for you a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm done mixing all of these up pretty well. Like I said, I always keep wet wipes by me as well, paper towels on hand. So that wipes wipe this stuff up. As you can see right here, there's a drop right there. I'm not going to touch that because I'm going to let the actual, let it go ahead and, and dry up for me. Because this is silicone. But actually, I might go ahead and do this because knowing me, I'll probably put my arm in it. <laughs> so now that I got, now I'm going to try and do this. So since I kind of had the colors I want in mind for my molds, I'm using just this earring mold that I got from AliExpress. It's my first time using it because I actually forgot I bought this mold. So I'm going to just test it. Uh, I'm sure Amazon has this, so if I can find this on Amazon, I'll put links down below. So first thing first, I'm going to go ahead and pour this into here. Now one thing this resin said, it's supposed to be self-leveling. So just pour a little bit on that right there and pour it on this one too because I want to have it the same. Supposed to be self leveling. Got a little bit on that. And then I'm going to pour it on the other side. So I'm just going to flip it so I can do it over here and actually look like a little bit of wet on here. So just pour it in here. Right there. And then pour it in here. So I'm going to have a little bit left here so I can make sure make put this properly in my actual deep pour. So I'm just basically topping it off real quick here. A little drop right there. And get a paper towel and clean your stick off. And just kind of level it up. So not too bad. Yeah, I made a little mess there, but that's all right because I'm just testing this out. Now, these items that I actually make for the video, I will have these on my website that you can purchase, and there will be a discount because just like any great artist, you have to test them on something. So, these pieces will be available for purchase at, at a discounted price since I am basically using them as a demonstration. I'm just going to take a little bit and make sure it's kind of topped up top because I really want it the very top of the mold and like I said I don't know what the working time is so I know I haven't been no more than five no nothing over ten minutes so far so there's that one so now let's do the other two colors so now I think I'm gonna do these right here so I'm gonna pour it here and this time I'm going to make sure it is at the top. And then this here in the bottom. Like that. And then take my purple. And pour it on this side. So 
That's why I really like how this resin look right now. And it's really funny that I'm doing this on the video because normally I do not pour this neat, but I'm doing it by myself. So I am really impressed on how well I'm pouring this. So let's clean that off right here. And then let's see if I need to top off any of it. Let's top off a little bit here. Is it topping off? But yeah, right now I don't smell any smell with this resin. So right now, I just like I said earlier, this is a thumbs up for me. Because a lot of times, I don't know, a lot of people are having questions or concerns about the resin smell. But still, you know, if you are one of those people who are very sensitive to smell or not quite sure, by all means, make sure you have a PPE mask. Uh, respiratory, respiratory mask, whatever the things are, or something to kind of protect your um, self. Because I don't want no one to get any reaction here. I have not had any reaction to any of my resins that I use. So that's why I do not wear a mask on a lot of my resins. Now, there are some sort of resins that you have to wear one, but I've been using, um, this one, I've been using the, um, art resin for a while and art resin has not had any smell and has not bought me for anything so I'm just trying to make sure everything's topped off here then we kind of leveled up here I think we're good with the blue so that's perfect now I've got plenty of this other color here but I think I do have enough to do a deep pour and I do have another color in here too so all these colors will work together so I'm going to pour the rest of this in here I'm gonna leave a little bit in here because I want to try to um, show you how to glaze it too so let me go ahead and stir this up with the color like I said it is really a nice pretty color so let me speed this up real quick so you don't see me staring all right so I think that one is pretty nice and stirred up like I said it's a very rich color so I so like I said yes positive thing about this I love the um, colors that came with this kit all right, so let me make sure you know take that because that one's getting kind of crowded and filled up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the side real quick. Um, there is a bubbles and I will spray that down with my alcohol here in a minute. I have a spray bottle right here. This is about I think 70% alcohol, 70 up to I think 90 some percent is good. I just have 70 in here. I do have a 90 something percent bottle, but I would just want to finish up this one first before we fill it up. So now I'm gonna try to deep pour. So now I'm just gonna kind of pour these in here. Mix them up, there's no rhyme or reason with it, just basically using up the colors. So that one's through with that one. Let me finish this one. And this is why I like using silicone cups because silicone, you can leave your actual resin in there and it'll dry in there. And then you can just kind of flake it off when it's done. And I'm just going to pour some of this in here. Just to try to get as much of the resin off. Pour this orange in here. And I might have to use the rest of that resin that's in that cup to fill it up. And yeah, I got a little bit on here, so I'm just gonna wipe that off real quick. And then the black. And actually, and before I actually pour more in there, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this now i made this part right here out of clay let me wipe my hands off real quick so i'm just going to show you real quick how i glaze this so i'm going to put it on another mat so i can move it so um they say to use it as a glaze too so i like let's go ahead and find it so i'm testing it with the dream molds i'm not attaching it with the deep pour and now i'm going to see what what the glaze looks like so move that up real quick and i'm using a silicone brush here it's just a little flat thing here to kind of brush it so i'm going to take a little bit of this right here not much and I'm just going to brush this just kind of want to see how it looks so I'm just basically I'm not sure you can see that but I'm basically just brushing the, the um, resin onto it to give it more of a glass like finish to it so I'm just going to hit the side and this is also a silicone mat too so it won't stick to it so just brush a little bit to glaze it and then hit the side. And this is a test piece I, I was doing yesterday. I was working on my Kumigani gang. Um, Gange, Gange, Gange. 
sometimes like that doesn't get said twice, but it's a technique on clay. So um, I'm just actually trying to test that out. So that's one of my pieces that I was working with. I'm just going to kind of take my glove. It's starting to run off here a little bit. I think I put too much on it. You don't really need much when you actually are glazing. But I think I put too much on it. But I just wanted to see how I work with the glaze. And like I said, I'm, this is a test piece. So it's no big deal if it doesn't come out the way I want it. I'm just trying to brush some of this extra stuff off. So that way it's not on here. And then I'm going to kind of pick it up and kind of clean the edges a little bit. Alright, so that one is, so I'm just going to put that side on there as well. And now let me go ahead and, why this is still trying to cure, let me go ahead and spray this. Which I don't see much bubbles on here. But, yeah, just go ahead and clean it. But that looks actually pretty. Not going to lie, I'm actually liking that, those colors. Now, let me just pick a color here. Let's see, I might have enough in here where I can kind of scrape some of this off. It did say not to kind of scrape it out of the thing, but I'm just trying to use as much of this color as I can before I fill up this actual piece. And I actually might just leave the colors in here and just do this one clear. So, like I said, it's just a test piece. So, like I said, these are all test pieces, and they will be on my website, uh, stacyjewels.com. And, like I said, they will be discounted because anytime I practice anything for YouTube um, I even will put them as a gift when someone buys something or like I said you can just purchase it you know for yourself so let me go ahead and pour the rest of this in here and yeah that might go to the top and look like it does not so it looks like if I want to do more than one mold I would have to put more resin in here and that's okay. So not now, like I said, now that one is no. Since this is plastic right here, I will take a wet wipe and clean this out so that way I can use this cups again. But if it's still kind of like the rest of them, I'll just let them actually sit there and actually just let it um harden that way I can pop it out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a toothpick, which I thought I had some out. So give me one second, I'm gonna give you a toothpick over here. Or I should pop it just a little just fine. And I'm just going to take this right here and just kind of mix these colors in a little. Kind of get like, like a galaxy color look like. So we're just going to mix it here a little bit. Kind of scrape it because it looks like I have some black on it. So now it's going to have a little definitions in it. And it's just look kind of like that right now. So no rhyme or reason right now on what I'm doing here. But, like I said, I just wanted to do, use that color up. So, I'm not sure how they're going to look when it cures. It might be a hot mess, but that's the thing about it. So, right now, these three pieces will, will sit around here and cure. Um, the direction did say, I think, 24 out, 12 to 24 hours. It should um, dry and harden, but give it three days. So, with any of my resin pieces, I always do three full days to make sure. So, today is Sunday. So, I will come back in three days and show you the final piece so um stay tuned 30 days later okay guys as the graphic mentioned before this video it's been 30 days since i made the product over here that's on my left for the deep pour mode pros is it actually cured perfectly hard as a rock no soft spots for the dream mode the pigment colors are perfect. You can see that right there, as well as this one. Colors are pro. However, this one is still bendy. And this is one of the um, cons of this product. But it's not really of a product. It's more of my room temperature at the time. I had it at, I think, 72 degrees exactly. And according to directions, and I got them right here, it says... For best results, the product should be used in conditions between 72 to 85, but make sure the product has accumulated to at least 75 degrees. So, at the time I did this video 30 days ago, this was back in May when we had a lot of rain in Texas. So, my temperature was not at the accumulated 75 degrees. So, that is why these 
right here turned out bendy. For the glaze, the glaze came out fine. I did not put enough resin on here to keep it from kind of bunching up because um, epoxy resin is self-leveling. So it has a tendency to pull from the edges. So one thing you want to make sure when you use epoxy resin, if you're trying to, you know, cover up your pieces is put enough in there, but then kind of spread it to the edges and then wait till it settles to see if it pulls and then just pour a little bit more at a time and then just kind of drag your resin to the edge. That, I didn't do that with that piece, so I messed that up myself. Now, the ones right here that you see right here, I did these three days ago in June. It's June 21st, so I did this about three days ago. And these did not bend. And the temperature in my room was at a Kim Lay at 75 degrees. So it did stay 75 or above. In fact, right now, it is about 78 degrees at 52% humidity. And I purchased this thermometer room thermometer from Amazon and I'll leave a link down below for that as well. So directions are key. So yes, I, I did not mix them or had accumulated to 75 degrees. As you can see, not at 72 degrees or not at 75 degrees at 75 or above. Big difference. Now I did was I did decide to test this too to see if I can fix the bendy. And as you can see it's not as bendy as the one I got here. And the reason why is I use this T Expert UV resin on this piece. I did the front, the back, and the side just to see if I can kind of savor my pieces here, and it works just fine. So I did a product review on this UV resin, and I'll leave a link down below or the cards up here in the corner. You can check out that review. So I love this UV resin, but yes, 75 at least constantly to get a, a, a full cure. Otherwise, your pieces can't turn out bendy. However, you can save it by using UV resin. Now, the pros and cons so far. So right now, like I said, pros is it mixed very well. There was no bubbles. Very clear. No smell, just like my art resin. So I do like that. I do like that it came with the kit. So it came with the UV resin. And, and you know, and it came with all the patterns that I have over here in the corner. And, of course, with the cups and mixing sticks. Now, I did transfer my resin into these little small little paint bottles. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you can find this at any store or whatever, but it makes it easier to kind of pour into my cups from mixing. So I do suggest, you know, if you do get any resin like this, if you get the bigger bottles, whether it's Roxy Epoxy or any bottles that's that big, get you too small. These are actually 240 milliliters, you know, and I just basically cover the tops up so this one is resin this one's hardener and I just wrote on it as well but that way I at least know which is which now when you're done using this resin you want to get brand new bottles do not mix new resin into these old bottles when these are empty because you don't want to contaminate it because all resins are not made the same so once these are empty if I'm not going to use Roxy Epoxy in these bottles I will throw these bottles out and have to get a whole new two empty bottles for my next Rox next um, epoxy so that's one thing. A couple of the cons right now. Mixing takes about five to seven minutes depending on how large the piece is. Now I did have a video and I'm going to show a little short excerpt of it where I actually tried to do something with these colors and it actually flash cured on me. I actually did it with, I think, I think I did about 50, I think I did 50 milliliters of resin because I was trying to do a big welcome sign. I was trying to fill this mold up right here. And by the time I got to, I think, letter C, my resin flash cured on me. And, and the reason why I think it flash cured me is because, A, I had these bottles warmed up in water for about 30 minutes, like, like the direction says, but I did not allow it to cool completely to room temperature. I went ahead and just poured it into my mixing cups and started mixing. And the cup itself was so hot to touch that it literally flash cured on me. So if you do warm up your bottles before mixing it, do leave it alone to it hits room temperature and then start mixing. Otherwise, like I can say that's showing the video right now on the screen, it will flash cure on you. And I did ruin two of my molds or two of my um, mixing cups. Not a big deal because I can go buy more, but yes, you don't want to have a flash cure on you. So works for, great at room temperature, but it does get hot, so yeah, that's one of the cons of it. Mixing five to seven minutes. I did these pieces um, 
you know, before this one, I did this for seven minutes. I did the same thing here for seven minutes, but the difference between these and this one, when I was pouring this one, the bottle of the resin, the resin was still kind of warm when I started mixing it. Whereas by the time I got to these, it was actually at room temperature and nothing happens. I would say I actually like this. I will probably use this resin again. You know, I might try some other ones. So I will keep testing it and see how it works for other products and other mediums that I work with. But so far, I like Roxy Epoxy. I see nothing wrong with it. I love the colors they came with them. I mean, these look like watermelon colors. So I love, yeah, ew. <laughs> so I love the colors. So yes, I will say that, yeah, give Roxy Epoxy a chance, you know. Just make sure you read the directions. It is, like I said, here's the pamphlet. It has a lot of stuff here, front and back. So you make sure you read this thoroughly on it to make sure you're mixing it right. Now, I don't see the mixing time, like the working time for this. I think I read somewhere, I think maybe uh, stand by for 30 minutes to make sure that bubbles don't rise. You can pop them. So I want to say you might have about 30 minutes working time. I have not timed that yet, so just make sure that when you start working with resin that you do have some extra molds next to you in case you have more resin in your cup than you do of your molds. But yeah, I don't know what their actual working time is, but I will at least say at least 30 minutes. So, so far, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with it. I almost was going to be like, oh no, don't get it because of the flash care. But like I said, I, I went back, we did it again, did these two pieces the same way and found out, oh, that wasn't their fault. That was my fault. Question of the day. Is there a product or resin that you'd like for me to review for you guys? If so, then leave a comment down below or you can hit up my website, stephaniejewels.com and on my contacts, contact us, you can leave your question there and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. So once again, it's your girl Stephanie with Stephanie Jewels. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, you hit that bell, you hit that thumbs up so that way you're notified on any videos that I make in the future. So I hope to see you soon. Bye.